Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about five types of people who can't stand the INFJ. If you're an INFJ, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the people who just get on our nerves, and we can't seem to get along with them no matter what. So, who are these people? And why do they get on our nerves so much? Stay tuned to find out. People who are blunt and insensitive. INFJs are very sensitive people, and they can be easily hurt by insensitive or blunt comments. They take their time choosing their words and actions, and they expect others to do the same. They are often deeply empathic and can easily pick up on the emotional state of others. This makes them very sensitive to insensitive or blunt comments, which can feel like a personal attack. People who are constantly making cutting remarks or who don't seem to care about Infjaz feelings will likely find themselves on the receiving end of Infjaz wrath. People who are manipulative or dishonest. Infjaz have a strong sense of morality. They are often able to see through people's facades and they are not afraid to call them out on their behavior. This can make them a target for manipulative people who will try to take advantage of their kindness and compassion. People who are constantly trying to manipulate or deceive Infjaz will likely find themselves on the receiving end of Infjaz's sharp tongue. People who are constantly seeking attention. Infjaz are introverted and they need a lot of time to recharge their batteries. They are not the type of people who crave attention and they can find it draining to be around people who are constantly seeking it. People who are constantly trying to get Infjaz's attention will likely find themselves being ignored or brushed off. People who are close-minded or judgmental. Infjays are open-minded and accepting of people from all walks of life. They have a deep understanding of human nature and they are able to see the good in everyone. People who are close-minded or judgmental will likely find Infjays to be very challenging to deal with as Infjays will not hesitate to challenge their beliefs. Infjays are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in, even if it means going against the crowd. People who are not open to new ideas or who are quick to judge others will likely find themselves at odds with Infjis. People who are not interested in deep conversation. Infjis love to have deep conversations about ideas, philosophy, and the meaning of life. They are fascinated by the human condition and they love to explore the big questions. People who are not interested in these types of conversations will likely find Infjis to be very boring. Infjays are not interested in small talk or superficial conversations. They want to talk about things that matter, and they want to connect with people on a deeper level. Of course, not everyone who falls into one of these categories will necessarily find Infjays to be difficult to deal with. However, if you are one of these types of people, it is important to be aware of how your behavior might be perceived by Infjays. If you want to get along with an INFJ, it is important to be respectful of their needs and to be open-minded to their perspective. 